Yeah, there it is unloaded. In case you're wondering why I was yelling at my dog. Or maybe you figured it out without me explaining it to her. I didn't want the bed to fall on her. I didn't know how well it would sit like that. Dogs are good, good at getting underneath heavy things. They can hurt them. Where'd she go? Anyway, I want to show you. There she is. Anyway, I just want to show you what condition this bed is underneath and why I'm using it as compared to this one. I know this one looks straighter, no dents and stuff, but it is rotted out badly. I think I showed this in an earlier video. And look at the uh, braces underneath. If you can see that rust, it looks kind of dark on the screen, but see that piece is rotted out bad. The good thing about this bed which makes it a shame and I may rescue it later. Use it as a spare, who knows, maybe even later on down the road I might swap beds again on this truck. Is this bottom, it's almost perfect. See a few little dents in the uh, wheel wells, but the bottom is perfect and pretty much dent free. I'm guessing that uh, it's had a bed liner on it since new. Someone uh, cut a hole out for a gooseneck, but other than that, bottom's perfect sides whereas this one's going to need a little work on the bottom right here got a little bit of actually it's just surface rust it's got a few holes drilled in it some of them are factory some of them are not and this is actually an uh, 88 bed I think and Maybe a 90 or something like that, but I know when you look up beds, they say uh, 92 and up will fit mine. The only difference I see are the uh, bolt holes. Spacing's the same, it's just that uh, this one's missing some right there. I think that's the deal. Let me double check myself. Take a look at this one. No, actually, that one's missing them there too. Maybe it's this one that's missing some. Yeah, that's what it is. I have one, two, three bolt holes going all the way through the bed on this one, on each side. Whereas that one has four, five. It's just an extra bolt hole. I think it's the only difference. The body lines are the same. I've looked and looked, and there's no difference. One, two, three, no? I'm getting confused here. Hang on. One, two, three, and a four. And we counted three over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's the only difference I see. Anyway, I'm getting off subject here. But here's what the bottom of this thing looks like though. It's been beat all to hell. I gotta fix a lot of dents, but look at the bottom. All these braces are good and solid. A little bit of surface rust there, but compare that to the uh, the other one. Very little rust. We got some starting right here I'm going to have to fix. I'll have to cut that out. Weld a small patch panel in. And, but if you look in here, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. I don't know how that's going to turn out on camera, but uh, yeah. Well, you can see a little bit right here between the panels. I may uh, flip this thing upside down and if anything so I can cut that little bit out and clean that out, get the rust out of there and uh, treat it with the 415 paint, POR 15 paint I call it. Some people call it poor. But yeah, look at that. Still got the factory primer under it. So I think this is a better bed even though it just looks pretty nasty with all the big dents. But I'd rather fix dents than weld all them patch panels in, at least for now. Maybe later on down the road when we get time. <laughs> That's a joke when I get time. I will order a patch panel here and there and start putting that bed together. Make a fancy looking trailer out of it or something to match my truck. I don't know. Something like that. But we'll get this thing on some kind of blocks and that way we can uh, get out here on a nice day and beat a den or two out whenever we have time.
have a big bed for a little guy like me. Yeah, I'm gonna catch my breath and I gotta find some blocks. Kick this under. What are you sniffing at? This will be good on video. What you doing? You didn't expect to see this, did you? Huh? <laughs> Dog attack. Dog attack. Maybe this video will go viral. Stop. 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 Goofy dog. Alright, I need to buy some more blocks to get it up higher. I know we don't like concrete blocks, but it's not like I'm going to be working under this. I just want it off the ground. I'm going to work under it. I'll stand it up on its side. Won't be doing that today. I sure I didn't seem that cold until I started working out here. And then it's like the wind all of a sudden decided to start blowing. So I had to go get my hat. Is blowing my hair, which is in badly need of a haircut, all over the place. I start sweating, and then I realize how cold it is. It's not as warm as I thought. But anyway, there it is. Get a good look around it. As you see, it needs some work, but it has very little rust, and it's solid. I just wish it didn't have those big dents in it. But for what did I pay for that? I think it was 190. It was, it was it was just under 200 I think got it at pull apart junkyard I mentioned that in one of my really early videos on this project but yeah we got it off the tractor and um, really instead of going through all that wrestling around I should have hooked a boom to the tractor but I figured by the time I rigged up all the ropes and whatnot to uh, pick it up so it wouldn't swing and hit the boom and stuff I could uh Went ahead and picked it up and moved around like by hand like I did. But while I was moving around, I was wishing I'd have went to that trouble. Alright, I thought this might make a neat little video. I think Angel livened it up a little bit. A little bit about her. She got a hold of a raccoon one night last week. I managed to uh, get her away from it before she killed it. I don't know if it lived or not. It limped off. It couldn't... Uh, it didn't try to run. It was, it was right about here. It was laying on its back while she was uh, slowly circling it like a shark waiting to uh, get a hold of it so she wouldn't get bit. She had blood all over her, but she did not get bit. And uh, we rescued that raccoon. Uh, there have been others that weren't so fortunate. I wasn't here to save them. I don't mind hunting and uh, I'll kill to eat. I like meat. I like wild meat, but... Uh, I don't like to kill just to be killing, so I let the little fellow limp off. I don't know if he made it or not. I do know the only way for him to get out of here would probably be to climb, so 
Hopefully he wasn't as bad as I thought. He was limping bad though. I'd say she got a hold of him and shuck him pretty good. Most most uh, raccoons can fight off a dog, but this one here, she's actually the one that I know where she did kill. <laughs> well, she ate half of them because I found it in the yard. I found this half-eaten carcass, carcass in the yard somewhere. Alright, we'll call this another video. Stay tuned for some more on the power stroke.